Windows 7 is on everyone's minds and not only can you install it on your PC, but you can put it on your Mac with Boot Camp. I'm Brian Tong with CNET.com and we've done similar videos like this before, but we'll show you how it's done with Windows 7. Now first thing you'll obviously need is a Mac sporting an Intel Core 2 Duo and legal copies of both Windows 7 and Leopard or Snow Leopard. Windows 7 is not supported in Boot Camp at the moment, but it does work. Now Apple will be offering official support sometime next year, but if you have a Mac that's from 2006 or earlier, you'll probably have problems installing Windows 7. First up on your Mac, let's go to the Applications folder, then Utilities, and open the Boot Camp Assistant. This is the tool that will allow you to create a Windows partition on your hard drive so you can dual boot. Select the partition size you want or use the options offered and Boot Camp will do the rest. You'll then be asked to pop in your Windows 7 disk and start the installation. Go through the prompts and choose the installation type that you want, then make sure you pick the Boot Camp partition for where you want to install Windows. I ran into an issue where it wouldn't let me advance until I formatted the Boot Camp partition, so make sure to click on the Drive options, you'll see Advance in parentheses, and select Format. Hit Next and Windows 7 will start the installation. Now after your computer restarts and boots up, you'll need to select a few more options to finish the process, but you'll still need to install the drivers for the Mac hardware. We're here on the Windows 7 desktop, go to the Start menu, then Computer, and eject the Windows 7 disk. Now pop in your Mac OS X disk and the automatic prompt should let you launch the Boot Camp installer to add all the hardware drivers you need. You are now ready to use Windows 7 on your Mac and here's a couple tips. The Apple Command key is now the Windows key and if you want to right click make sure you have two fingers on the trackpad and then click the mouse button for additional options. Whenever you guys want to switch between booting into your Windows 7 or Mac OS X partition, just hold the option key right after you hear the startup chime sound and you'll be able to choose. I'm Brian Tong from CNET.com with your how-to for installing Windows 7 on your Mac. Use it wisely. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high-tech and high-performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, cnet.com slash CarTechTV.